In this presentation, what we're going to do is look at non-isomorphic trees. And the first question we're asked to do is draw the three non-isomorphic trees on five vertices. So what we're going to do in the first instance is going to call this first one, uh, oops, let's start that again. I'm going to call this uh, graph one. So there's a pen there, okay. So what I'm going to draw here, I'm going to call this one, is uh, a, a path graph on five vertices. There we have it there. So one, two, oops, two, three, four, and five. Let's draw something that's uh, not isomorphic to that. So I'm going to draw the four vertices there, one to four, and I'm going to add the, the last edge, the fifth vertex there. So one, two, three, four, and five. So uh, you can notice there that in the path, and in, in graph, in tree one, that we have a path uh, graph where the highest uh, degree is two, in this one here we have degree three, which is the vertex tree has degree three. Uh, one more, one, two, three. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have a vertex that has degree four. So let's just draw in all the other vertices here. One, two, three, four. Now, Keep a note of the names there because I'm going to refer back to these uh, these non-isomorphic trees for the next part of the exercise. So that's the first part of the exercise. Draw the three non-isomorphic trees on five vertices. Uh, just as a quick remark, I'm not going to do it now as part of this exercise, but what you should be able to find is that the sum of the degree sequence in each case is eight. Uh, the reason being that's a sort of important um, that's an important uh, characteristic of uh, trees. Now, moving on to the next part, draw on a separate diagram all of the nine isomorphic trees on six vertices by adding a vertex to copies of the trees you've already drawn. So, what I'm going to do in the first instance is I'm actually going to draw out graph one, tree one again, and that was simply a path graph and what I'm going to do that I'm just importantly that was on five vertices so essentially what I'm going to do is uh, for six vertices I'm going to come up with some non isomorphic graphs based on uh, tree one just by adding a, a, an edge and a vertex so I'm going to call these I'm going to call these this series a so the first one is called a so basically draw out our graph again our, our non-isomorphic tree one. So one, two, three, four, five. What I'm gonna do in this instance is I am going to uh, add another vertex. Just continue with the design of a path graph. There we are, just add an, an extra vertex. So that's the first one we could do. Next one, B. Uh, let's just draw out the fundamental structure of it which is tree one, one, two, three, four, five. This time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an edge at uh, vertex two, okay. Now it doesn't really matter that I've gone above or below, I've just gone below here. What I could have also equally have done was add an edge here at four, let's say, uh, but that would have been isomorphic to what I've just drawn already, okay? So that is, um, that's not isomorphic. Uh, that is, sorry, that is isomorphic to what I've just, what I've just drawn already. So I can, I'm not gonna use that one. So next one is C. And again, the fundamental structure is tree one. So let's just draw tree one again. And here what we're gonna do is add a vertex and an edge at vertex three. So that is non-isomorphic. C and B are non-isomorphic uh, 
So they, uh, they're both of the, both C, B, and C are valid. So uh, let's make keep a note of what we've just drawn so far because I've uh, I've based uh, these designs on these uh, non isomorphic trees on six vertices on A on sorry on tree one. Now I'm going to draw some new ones on tree two. So I'm just going to uh, reset the page here. But you, I also have to be mindful of the fact that I can't draw anything that is isomorphic to something I've just drawn. So let's just re remind ourselves what tree two uh, looks like. I'm just going to draw it, just for the sake of space, I'm going to just draw it like that. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now, so what I could do here in the first instance, I'm going to call this next one D. So I wrote, I will use Roman numerals there. I'll just keep that, keep that consistent. So what I can do here is I can add a vertex. Let's just draw the fundamental one first, the basic structure. One, two, three, four, and five. Now what I can do here is that I can add one, a vertex and an edge at vertex two. So that's a new, uh, a new sort of structure. Something I can also do, and I'm going to call this next one E, is uh, draw, add an extra vertex at three. So at vertex three, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm adding in this vertex here. These are the ones I'm adding in. Okay. So is there any more we can draw there? Well, if we were to, let's just say, say for argument's sake, I wanted to try out one, two, three, uh, four. So this is the fundamental one. We, uh, I'm just using a different color because it's actually this one's not valid. One, two, three, four, five. So suppose I was to add something here like this. Uh, what happens here is this is not valid because this is isomorphic to something we've already drawn. This is actually isomorphic to C, something we've already drawn. Uh, likewise, um, you can sort of pick out a few other ones there. If we were to add a uh, uh, something like this instead, uh, draw it out here, we would have uh, it would be isomorphic to B, okay. So that's what we uh, stuff we have to be looking out for. So there's one more to draw, and I'm just gonna. It's, this is our the designs based on. This design would be based on graph three, which was simply looked simply like that. So let's just make sure we have it drawn out again properly. So. 3, 1, 2, 4, and 5. So I'm going to call this design F. Oops. And essentially what we're going to do is just add another vertex to that design there. So uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So let's just put the, put the numbers in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and six and this is graph f okay and that's not isomorphic to anything we've drawn previously the reason you can what can what sort of stands out there is that we have a degree five vertex there so uh i sort of gone very quickly through it and um, but what will be required is just to sort of and also what would help is to have it all done on the same page that you can sort of see all of the six vertex uh, trees all together and you can sort of spot that they would be uh, isomorphic to each other or non-isomorphic as, as needs be. So that ends our presentation.